create a composition with 24 fps and this dark blue color or any color you want for your background. Let's start off by creating a text layer. I'm using the font called Clip, and I'll leave the link to this font in the description. Now duplicate this neon layer twice by pressing Ctrl and D twice. Select the first neon layer, then right click and go to layer styles, bevel and emboss. Open bevel and emboss, change highlight color to gray. Increase shadow opacity to 100% and decrease highlight opacity to 57%. Then apply a fill effect on this layer. Change the color to dark gray. Finally add a drop shadow, then we are done with the first neon layer. Proceed and apply Gaussian blur effect to the second neon layer. Increase the blurriness to 150. That is all for the second neon layer. For the third neon layer, add an inner glow. Open inner glow, and change the source from edge to center. And also add a glow effect. Now duplicate the third neon layer by pressing Ctrl and D. Delete the glow effect of this layer. Again add bevel and emboss to this fourth neon layer. Open bevel and emboss, change highlight opacity to 0% and shadow opacity to 21%. Then open Inner Glow, and change the opacity to 50%. Now for the flickering motion, select Neon 4, 3 and 2 at the same time by holding Ctrl and click on them. Drag their timeline to the right, so the scene will start from no power to powered. Press T for opacity. Click on the stopwatch to add keyframe. We will start from 100% to 0% then again 100 to 0 for 5 times. These keyframes will create the flickering effect. Hold Ctrl and press the right arrow key to move frame by frame. Then select all of the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Unselect all layers then hold alternate, and press on the stopwatch of each layer to add a code to enhance the effect. Don't press enter, just hold alternate and click on another watch to type in another code. There you go. The final step is to add the sound effect, I will put it in the description with the font as well.